Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to customize the header for the iNode theme using Photoshop. So the first thing that you'll need to do is obviously download iNode and if you look in the theme directory you'll see an image folder. Double click that and in that folder will be the header footer JPEG. Uh, that contains the header and other stuff and we'll take a look at it. So you'll need to open that in Photoshop. So we're going to open Photoshop and open that header footer JPEG. And let's take a look at a couple things here before we get into customizing it. If you look at the uh, header footer JPEG in iNove, it's a little different than most. Instead of having separate images for the header and the footer and so forth, all of them are in this one image. So if we look at the theme itself beside this header footer JPEG, you'll notice that here in the header footer JPEG is the background for the header. Below the white area is the background that makes the background for your horizontal nav. And then just below that you'll see this uh, sort of uh, drop shadowed area and sort of gutter looking here. That makes the drop shadow and the gutter below the background for your horizontal nav. And the light gray area here is the light gray area in the footer and then the dark gray here is a bit of dark gray that goes even beyond the footer. So all of that is in the actual header footer JPEG for the iNove theme. It's important to keep that in mind because when you're customizing the header you just want to customize this black area here and you don't want your images to go down into the white area or it won't look good because again that white area creates the background here. So Having that, keeping that in mind, let's take a look at a couple properties of the theme that you'll need to know when you're selecting an image to go on this background. If we look at the image size, the width is 936 pixels wide and 220 pixels high for this entire image. So the most important for the way that I work with these anyway, size to look at is the width, 936. I need an image if I want it to look good that's at least that wide and I like to have the image a, a bit wider to start with. So I'm going to open an image of a moon and this image of the moon it's only showing now at 67 percent of its size. If we look at the properties of it it's 1280 pixels wide. So that's plenty wide for me to uh, use as a replacement here if I wanted to. Now obviously it being 853 pixels high I'm not going to be able to see this entire moon on the background unless I shrunk it down really small uh, but that's not the point I don't really want to see the whole thing and I'll show you how we're going to work with this but 1280 pixels wide for the default image keeping in mind that our background is 936 wide so to start with I want to crop out a little bit of the stuff to start with that I know that I'm really not interested in. Now let's look at the image size again and I'm down to 465 with 1279 wide. Okay. So I'm going to take this, I don't want the moon to be in the center of the header, I want it to be a bit to the right. I'm going to go to the image of the moon and I'm going to take it down to about let's say 1150 wide and I keep the constrained proportions so I keep everything in perspective. By doing that I still have lots of room. My image here is wider than my background so I can move it left and right uh, and still have part of this black background here which I could easily make but uh, uh, you get the point here. If you have something that's an image the whole screen then it's not as easy to work with. So anyway the image I'm working with is wider than the background so now I'm going to uh, take this image and let me crop the bottom off a little bit more because I want this part of the moon to show clearly in my header this little crater here so I'm going to crop just a little bit more of this bottom part off it doesn't really matter how much of the top because a lot of that's not going to show anyway and then I'm going to take the move tool click on my image and drag it up on my header and then pull it up and now you can see, now the reason that I wanted my header to be wider than the background is because, look here, let me get down here. That way I can move it. I don't have to have it in the center. 
I can move it and I still have the uh, over on the left hand side there I can do that and it's not centered on the image okay so anyway I'm going to put this up and then I'm going to take my percentage here up to 200 percent or so so I can see it better now as I move the image you can see on the very left hand side over here you can see where the black area is so I bring it up above and then I use the down arrow key to bring the image down so that it lines up right at the bottom of the black part of the header right here and I can see that then I'm going to use my left arrow key and move it over you can see it's moving over here so that it's right at the left now I have my entire background image covering up the original uh, background I'll take it back down to a hundred percent and so there's my moon if I like that I'll save it if I don't then I could come over here delete this layer and start over do some more sizing maybe I want that crater to be a little bit more toward the bottom I could come over here if I wanted and uh, crop a little bit more and then come and drag it back up on my image and do my positioning again so we'll do this and then just sort of leave it uh, and the best way to get things exactly the way you want it that I found is just to play around with it so I move it over I got it all lined up just the way I want it and that's good take it back to a hundred percent and that's looking good I like that for an image so then I'm going to go file save for web remember it's a JPEG so you need to save it as a JPEG save for web make sure it's JPEG and not a GIF or something else it's currently set at 60 percent quality which is fine for this image that's just sort of black and white if you look that will produce a 14 kilobyte file and that's good that's small so I'll save I'm going to save it as header and footer I'll just put it on the desktop for now and then I'm going to go to my website where I have my uh, source files uploaded go into the themes directory and to INO and the image and find the header footer and what I'm going to do here is just usually what I'll do is I'll just rename the original one just put back or something at the end and that way I still have it I don't really delete it and then I'm going to take the header footer that I created and drag it in here FTP it whatever you need to do uh, to replace it and then come back to my website refresh my screen and see how I like it now it looks pretty good but the one problem that I have here and this happens on lots of images uh, when you're not showing the full image and it gets cut off at the top I sort of like the way this looks but I don't like the fact that I have this gap here between the top of the web page and my browser where the moon is just cut off I'd much rather have the header right up at the top it, I think it will look better so the one additional adjustment I'll make to the theme to make my header look better is go into the uh, I know theme, go down to style CSS and open it and in style CSS scroll down or search or whatever you want to do until you find wrap or the start of the layout and wrap and you'll see the padding here is set to 20 pixels and that's what creates that gap okay. so if I take my padding and take it down to zero pixels and then save that and come back to my blog and refresh you'll see that's gone and I may create a future video and show you how to create a background for iNode that has uh, uh, images all across it because it's a couple of different things you have to take into consideration when you do that uh, for example if we were to look at this site here to where I'm using that uh, and I have several headers here just rotating through but this background here has image all the way across it's not just black uh, same thing with this background here so there's a couple of other things when you're editing your images and stuff to put in that you keep in mind when you have detail all the way across instead of just a solid color uh, and an uh, image like the moon and so forth uh, but I'll create a future video to talk about a few of those techniques